welcome back to Tech Tuesday and a very highly demanded episode by you, the viewers. Today, my friends, we are doing the case build for the DDJ-1000. If you've been following along with the videos that I've been posting daily, by the way, then you already know that I recently bought a DDJ-1000. And today, we're finally going to put that baby in its home. I've been slowly accumulating all the gear that I'm going to be placing inside of the case. It has been a long process because getting shipments right now has been tough. Before we get started with the actual build, and the drilling and all that fun stuff. Let me show you guys everything that I'm going to be using for this build. Everything is going to be listed down in the description of this video if you want to check it out. As many of you guys know, I am a huge fan of using a monitor, so I have a monitor cable. I obviously have some Velcro ties. These are all by Hosa. In fact, all my cables that I'm going to be using are by Hosa. This is a three foot XLR cable by Hosa, and it's the pro ones. These are my go to favorite cables. They're thick and they last a really long time. One, two, three, four cables for the flight case. One is needed for my microphone and two are needed for the master out. Speaking of master outs, I also got these little guys right here. So we are going to be drilling the case so that we can have permanent XLR outputs that are built into the outside of the case. Something that a lot of guys do is they'll actually take a XLR cable and they'll just cut it and then they'll rewire it onto this. I'm not one of those guys. I honestly don't feel very comfortable doing that. I don't like having exposed wire and I just like having everything stocked. This works exactly the same as the ones that you would wire at your house or whatever. However, the input on the back is designed to go right on the cable without the need of soldering or rewiring cables. This is what it'll look like. I'm hoping that this is not going to be too long. If not, what I'm going to have to do is I'm gonna to have to order right angle XLRs, which is something that I hope I don't have to do. So I also have a ton of other cables that I like to live in the flight case. Starting with this one, this is an RCA to eighth inch jack. It's pretty standard aux cable. This is great for plugging in an iPad, plugging in phones, all that stuff. I never tell guests that I have this. If you don't have something that they requested, chances are they're gonna tell you, oh, just plug in my phone. This is strictly for backups. I also went out and bought a lightning to headphone jack connection that's going to attach to this. As many of you guys know, I also use a tablet to run my Airstream DMX bridge for controlling my lights. So I also bought a charger cable to charge my iPad as well as one to charge my phone. So so I have two chargers in hand ready to go. Computer chargers are the number one thing that DJs always forget about. So it's a good idea to just buy a second one. I know if you have a Mac, these are very expensive. This is a hundred dollars right here. It's a good idea to just buy a second one, just have it in your flight case. That way you never forget. Now it wouldn't be a case build without a nice beefy surge protector. And I went ahead and got this cable matters one. I bought it because as you guys can see, it's got two USB chargers so that I can charge my phone and my tablet which is awesome going along with the surge protector I also bought one of these guys right here this is a power con connector and what a lot of guys do is they'll buy a surge protector they'll snip it right back here cut 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 and then they'll install this to the end so that they can flush mount this similarly to how we did the XLR I'm personally not going to be doing that again I am NOT a fan of cutting these cables I know everybody says oh Oh, this is handmade and I'm like dude I don't care if it's a homemade cable I don't trust it I believe in robots I think robots can do a way better job than we humans can I'm just not a fan of homemade products I know a lot of guys are like oh these are handmade cables so they're way better than anything a company puts out and I'm just like I don't know about that I don't know that's just me I just don't feel like some guy making the cables in his house is going to be better than what Hosa is putting out I I don't know maybe I'm just a Hosa fanboy or what I just bought this to show you guys it's very cheap. It's only about three bucks. If you guys saw my unboxing of the DDJ 1000, you heard me complain that they still ship with the old fashioned USB Type A. My computers are all USB Type C. So, I bought two of these cables, one in white and one in black from DJ Tech Tools in San Francisco. These cables actually come in all different colors. They come in red, green, blue, orange, any color you can want. Um, I'm so basic though that I just went with the white and the black. That way I know which is which. What's dope about the DDJ 1000 is that it has two outputs and they're different colors so that I know which is which. 
The last and final cable that's going to be living in our flight case is this guy right here. This is a male RCA to female RCA. I hate it when videographers come in the middle of the night and they're just like, hey, can you unplug me? And I'm in the middle of a set. I don't like doing that, so I bought this so that way they can just unplug it and just leave the cable there. The last couple things are just some maintenance things that we'll need for the job. We have some cable ties, we have some screws, we have some Velcro, some tape, some double-sided tape, and some zip ties. Now, we are are going to be drilling the case so you will need a drill for this and you're also going to need a 7 8 spade bit so that you can drill the holes for the new trick connections for your XLRs again I'm not going to be doing the power comp because that's not a risk I'm willing to take This is the case model right here. It's a Pro X Honeycomb Digital Line XS DDJ 1000 WLT LED. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it has an LED built in. Um, we'll find out once we get inside of it. I did opt for the traditional color. You can get this in a solid black and I think it even comes in red and a whole bunch of other slew of colors. I'm personally a fan of the stock color flight cases just because I like having everything uniformed. All my flight cases are all the same. Black panel, silver trim. Also, if you get the ones that have the color trim, it oftentimes chips. I do have a fully black one up there. I don't know if you can see it in frame, but it's somewhere up there. After a couple of gigs, that black trim does not look good. So the LEDs for the flight case are built in. It does have the 1U underneath the actual controller. However, you do have to drill it in. And something that I wish that Pro X did is I wish they had the pilot holes already in so that I knew where exactly I need to drill. Um, it's going to be a guessing game trying to figure out where exactly I'm going to drill. You get a power brake for your LED strip that's built inside and a remote to choose the colors. So this is our flight case right here. I love the smell of new flight cases. As you guys can see, there's an LED strip right here I have a Ryobi power inverter so let's go ahead and give this bad boy a try and let's go ahead and turn it on and boom that's it red blue green or green and blue that's it right there it does mess with the camera a little bit so I don't know how much I'll be using this and if I do use it I'm assuming I would just use it in white so if you guys look back here there is already a hole pre-drilled for something like those XLR connectors that we bought so this is the hole right here and I'm actually thinking that this is a little bit too big for this so we might have to bail on that idea. Yeah, that hole is definitely way too big. This hole is a no-go as far as using it for our case build. I can either drill the holes over here or make them a little bit tight over here. The only issue of installing these on this side is the fact that there's also foam here. And this plus that gets a little bit lengthy and I don't want to have to cut any of this foam pieces. Other option is drilling here where I have lots of space to drill. However, I don't want these XLRs so close to the ground. As you guys can see, the wheels for the flight case are right there. So it's more or less pick your poison. Would you guys either go A or B? I'm thinking here might look a little bit cleaner than over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and drill it here. It's not the ideal spot in my opinion, but it's going to have to do. However, I will say because Pro X does have this honeycomb design, it's going to be very easy to drill these holes because I can just pinpoint somewhere in the middle of the honeycomb to make sure that they're perfectly aligned. I took a piece of white gaff tape and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place little pinholes here and a pinhole, actually we can even make this a little bit tighter. I can find place a pinhole here, another pinhole here. I'm just gonna make a small drill hole. Small drill hole doesn't really matter what size. It's just so it could be our pilot hole. Boom. Oh, that's pretty. That's a damn fine job if I do say so myself. All right, so now we need our spade bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to slowly drill into these pilot holes.
All right, we got our two holes drilled. Looks like I did them just about perfect. Let me see. Woo! So now that we've drilled our holes, we are ready to flush mount these onto the flight case. You will need some screws to go along with this. These are number four half inch screws. It's very uh, small. I don't know how well I can show you guys this on camera. I'll list it down below if you guys just want to pick up the screws as well because they do not I repeat, they do not come with these little connectors, so you will have to go buy these separate. Again, number four, half inch. I actually kind of fucked it up a little bit. As you guys can see, this guy right here is on a little bit of an angle, but it's not too noticeable. I don't know how well you guys can see that on camera. Okay, so now it's time to move on. Our next step is going to be to install our microphone. As many of you guys know, I use a short QLXD microphone. And cool thing about this microphone is the fact that it already comes with the rack mounts. So I have the two rack mount pieces here that I'm going to need. It also comes with extenders. For the antennas, this is all stuff that came with the microphone. So like I mentioned, the 1U does not come pre-drilled. So what I'm going to do is at first I'm going to assemble the microphone and then I'll add the brackets onto the microphone and then we'll actually drill it onto the case. <music> Okay, so a couple of things. I was hoping that this foam was going to actually be perfectly flush with the rack mount. As you guys can see, there's going to be little gaps here, which I absolutely do not like. This can also lead to errors when you might slightly have it tilt like this. Um, it's just, it's not a good design. I wish that this protruded out a little bit more. <laughs> So the hard part has been completed. I did my best to space this out as best as I could and I think it looks pretty damn good. So this is our QLXD. It'll live in here and now we have space under here for our chargers and running a whole bunch of other cables. As you guys can see here, I might need to get a right angle connector. This cable over here is hitting the padding so uh, I don't want it to get damaged. It should be okay for the time being until I get a right angle connector but um, that's just bothering me a little bit. I might be drilling into the computer stand these mounts for the antennas. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that or if I'll just have the antenna somewhere along here through the back. What I can do is I can just get another one of these uh, rack mounts and uh, I can place them opposite over here. I'm just going to leave the cables dangling right now. Now I'll start wiring the big cables. <laughs> The time lapse did stop midway. My, unfortunately, my battery died, but I can just give you a rundown and show you what we got going on back here. So uh, there are a lot of cables, and unfortunately, I was not able to do the complete flight case build. Two main reasons. One is the microphone. Unfortunately, these are not long enough for me to be able to run them and drill them into the laptop shelf. So that's gonna have to hold on for a few days until I can get longer cable. These are the antennas for the mics, and as you can see, they are very big antennas they're about a foot long and the idea is to drill back here and place them here like so but again I need a longer extension cord so that way when I push it out the cable doesn't rip off the back here the second thing I wasn't able to do is I wasn't able to permanently install a charger because it protrudes too far out at home I do have a bunch of extenders from my old 2011 MacBook Pro and that should take care of that so that's something I can do at my house that's not too much of a big deal the only concern that I really have is this cable here. I hope that this cable can hang. I don't like the fact that the DDJ-1000 requires a power brick, so that's a bit of a bummer. So I'm thinking I should just have a second one of these just in case. Aside from that, all the cables, I measured them so they're a perfect length. Cable management could still use a little bit of work. It's actually pretty clean considering, but uh, I do want to fix it a little bit more. I was actually going to use these cable fasteners here and drill them onto the board. However, because we're 
still missing a couple of pieces. I don't want to drill these permanently just yet. So this is the external. Let me put the DDJ and plug everything in so you guys can see what it looks like when it's all set up. Warping around the back, DDJ is now inside and I can show you guys everything that's plugged into it. So first off, we have our right and our left XLR, these are our masters out. Essentially, these are these inputs that we drilled in. Channel four will be our aux cable. So let's plug this guy in here, boom and boom. And we also have our RCAs for our video guys. If we ever get back to doing weddings, I'll be ready for them. On this side, only big thing we have to do is power cable. So power cable into here. We also have our aux cable with an iPhone connection just in case our chargers for our iPhone and our tablet we also have a microphone connection here monitor cable here power cable right here these cables are gonna be in and out all the time so these aren't gonna get tied down so these I'm just gonna throw in here for now and that's pretty much it as far as our cabling I was also able to put in the power brick in there but as you guys can see very snug and I also don't like this cable protruding like that that's just gonna be damaging and these chargers are freaking expensive and and that's pretty much all the connections that we'll be doing. I re-added back our laptop shelf and I also took a bit of WD-40 and now it glides a little bit smoother because it was actually very tough to glide this thing. Uh, the WD-40 did the job. If you're having trouble with your case and it's getting stuck a lot, just take it off, spray it with some WD-40, put it back on and then move it around a few bit just to spread it out and that should do it so this is my case build as you guys can see the xlr outputs are flush microphone is ready to rock and our ddj 1000 is looking crisp Woo! get that dust off of it and this is it that is my case build and that's pretty much it that is my case build right there i know a lot of guys do a bunch of different mods to this um i am very minimalistic i don't like doing like drive racks i don't like cutting my cables and you know rewiring them that way my case is nice and simple something that you can easily do at home the biggest thing that we did was drill those two holes and it was a pretty simple and straightforward job if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below i'm also going to list all the cables the power strip the velcro all that stuff that we use down in the description of this video so if you want to check it out please do so also if you want to download my sound effects pack that i use in all my mixes it is also listed in the description of this video support the channel by downloading or buying a piece of merch please like this video if you like this subscribe if you're new around here and if you really want to help me out don't forget to turn on that bell so you can be notified next time we do another case build video I'm gonna buy another controller eventually, so uh, be on the lookout for that. <laughs>